guys, it's Carol. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to Ilo Vasco, El Salvador. Salvador. Hilo Vasco is located about an hour and a half away from the capital city of San Salvador, and this town is known countrywide for its clay craftsmanship and pottery. We're going to go ahead and check out the process and take you guys along with us, and hopefully be able to craft something of our own. Let's go! <laughs> Giant goat, aka a cow. Vasco is at Konamipe. They support local entrepreneurs that have all the skills to create beauty with their own hands. And we've had the pleasure to be invited to show you what our local artisans are doing here in Ilo Vasco. Gracias. That's so cool. So babe, you're gonna try it? I'm gonna channel my inner Demi Moore and give us a go. <laughs> Is he gonna hug you from behind? I'm not, I don't know if I'm cool with that. <laughs> you're my Patrick Swayze, you know that. <laughs> Mira, pero no, no hay que poner una canción así como, oh, man. No, 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 <laughs> nice! This is awesome. You made that? I did. I made this. No, nice. well, no, he he pretty much made this. <laughs> Still 
ven, él ahí está en el campo extrayendo la, la materia prima. Acá ya la pasaron a secado. La, se, se secó todo lo que se extrajo de ahí, se secó, se pulverizó, se machacó, se molió, pues verdad. Se hizo eh, así polvo, se tamiza para sacarle las impurezas que trae. Aquí él está preparando la, la pasta. Ahí ha he hecho la mezcla ah. de la arcilla y la tierra blanca. Y ya, así, se, así se prepara tradicionalmente. Y ahí se hace la mezcla. Él acá ya está produciendo un jarrón con las arcillas que ya se prepararon. Está trabajando algunas piecitas. Este es como... Así en este tipo de hornos se queman las piezas. Texture is is really cool. It's a little sandy, but really moldable. Esta es la forma tradicional de moldeo acá. Aunque pues ya estamos usando otro, es más práctico, es con barro limpio. There's a lot of love that goes into these. I mean, down to the mold. Those are handmade based on somebody's idea that they came up with and drew and then created the mold. And then to press the clay in by hand, then let it dry out in the sun for three days and be put into a kiln. Then, artisanal crafts and entrepreneurs and I want to introduce you to one that we just met. ¿Cómo se llama? What is your name? My name is Mayra. Mayra. Mayra, nice, nice to meet you. you. Mucho gusto. And what is the name of your company? My company name is Ketali. It means beautiful or natural beauty in our language which is Nahuatl. It's gorgeous. And what do you make? Earrings, necklaces, uh, we also have bracelets. Everything is handmade. We pick the fruits, which is called moro. It's kind of like a pumpkin, but it, it grows on trees. The texture of this material is almost like wood, but the weight is very light, so it, it's perfect. You know, you can have a very heavy looking necklace and it doesn't weigh almost anything. No. So that's why we love it. Oh, that's awesome. Because our pieces like this one, this is kind of like a big piece for an earring, but it's so light. Oh my goodness. So that's, that's amazing. It's like paper. Yeah. It's, it's like a feather, honestly. Our indigenous people, they used to make everything from this material. So this is based off of the original yes. cons. Wow. But we also created these shapes to make it, you know, more colorful like our people's. So, yeah. so you take a product that would otherwise not be used. Exactly. And you turn it into this beautiful jewelry. Well, that's why we try. We, we no, love it. We love it. It's, it's gorgeous. And we ship everywhere. So Excellent, excellent. International shipping. I will link their Instagram account down below. And make sure you guys know how you can purchase these. Somos una institución que nos dedicamos a fomentar el crecimiento de los artesanos. Este es un espacio de comercialización 
es una vitrina de todo lo que se produce a nivel nacional. Tenemos desde artesanías elaboradas en barro, textil, a través del telar de palanca de San Sebastián. Tenemos los diferentes teñidos en añil, hojas naturales, joyerías como en diferentes técnicas, desde morro, coco, la técnica de vitrofusión, eh, joyería en añil, algo identitario de nuestra zona, lo que es la sorpresa, que es algo muy creativo y es algo que nos caracteriza como hilo vasquense. Y acá pueden encontrar un poco de todas esas manos que producen productos totalmente artesanales. Como institución estamos en constante capacitación para poder fortalecer a los artesanos y de esa forma entrar a nuevos mercados y por supuesto llegar hasta el punto de la exportación y de tener presencia de forma internacional. So these are sorpresitas. They are like little surprises hidden inside like a cake shaped plate. You open it up and there's a scene inside. Sometimes it's a nativity, sometimes it's a normal house scene. Uh, but if you know, you know, there's the other kind that are a uh, restaurant look how green everything is and it smells amazing what are we gonna get well the, the recommendation is the party parrillada Yes, this is grill. Ooh, what is that? It says beef tenderloin, chicken, pork, chorizo, avocado, fried tortilla, chirmol, and a side dish. Salud. They brought us consomme before, and now they just brought us a little salad. So it's gonna be like a three course meal. That's awesome. Hey, fancy. Wow. This is incredible. Look at all of this food. <laughs> this is the parriada for two people. Gosh. That's a lot of meat. That's two people? Lot. This is the two people one? Yeah, this is the two people. It looks good though. Yes. It is delicious. And the bus store is so amazing. I'm having so much fun here. This is incredible. And everybody here is so nice. And the crafts are so cool. I love seeing all these artisanal entrepreneurs everywhere we go. And this restaurant it is good.
most amazing lunch and I found this tree with clay wishes and I had so many questions so these guys are nice enough to answer them for us. First of all, what is this queso? Esto es un árbol. Esto, eh, bueno, surgió como decoración para una navidad. Okay. La idea de tener este, esta estructura acá era de que eh, fueran las familias que vinieran o personas que no visitaran plasmaran su deseo de año nuevo en los fiestos. Como tradición aquí en este pueblo se trabaja la artesanía en barro, que es como la arcilla, digámoslo así, pero es barro. Entonces una pieza de barro que se quiebra, cada uno de los trozos en los cuales se, se, se rompe ese, esa estructura de barro, cada una de esas piezas es un tiesto, así le llamamos nosotros en El Salvador. Cada uno de nosotros es como que fuera un pedazo de eso. Okay. Y cada uno de nosotros, uniéndonos como equipo, formamos la pieza atleta. Excelente. Les agradecemos mucho por su tiempo y por la comida excelente. Y definitivamente el lugar a donde tienen que venir cuando anden por Hilo Vasco. Right? It's, you had fun? Oh, it's so awesome. It's amazing here. It's beautiful. And the food, you guys, thank you. Gracias. Muchas gracias a ustedes. So what's been the best part, guys? Playmaking? You made a new friend. That lunch was so good, but now I'm ready to go ahead and hit the streets and check out the local markets here in Ilavasco. Gracias, güey. so happy to have gotten to visit Ilo Vasco and gotten to meet so many amazing people, artists, and entrepreneurs. This has been our first visit, but it definitely won't be our last. Ilo Vasco is yet another incredible place in our beautiful El Salvador. What do you think? Awesome! It's so amazing. many things to see. Um, it, it, the it, entrepreneurial spirit was really incredible. impressive to me. It was really impressive and top-notch products. I got, Luna got earrings. 
cream earrings. Ice cream earrings. They got some indigo dyed t-shirts from Matt J Azul Mexico. And I got this lovely necklace and earrings from Quetzali. They're all red. They're all red and they're lovely. You know what I would like to know? What? Would people like to see this product <laughs> on your website, maybe? <laughs> Alright, you guys have an amazing day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye! Is the horse out of gas? Welcome to Elton. Let's let the party go.